Okay. So this is coming out of India. Um, and if menstruating women cook, they will be reborn as Kutri, which means a B-I-T-C-H, in the next life. So the quote is no, that you have, you if you... To, what is, what is a Kutri? It means a B-I-T-C-H. Like a female dog. Yep. I'm assuming that's the case. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yep. Yeah, it does mean that. Okay, okay. So, and then it says, if you eat food prepared by a menstruating woman even once, your next avatar will be a balad, which is an ox. Am I correct in pronouncing that? I'm not sure. Menstruating women who cooks food for her husband will be reborn as a female dog. These are the preachings of Swami... Krishnan Sarup Daji, sorry if I'm uh, murdering this name, of, uh, I can't say it, Swanimaran Bhushan. Should, I, should I say it? Mm -hmm. Yes, you say it. Okay, so these are the preachings of Swami Krishna Swarup Dasji of Swami Narayan Bhuj Mandir, which is Nan Narayan Dev Gadji. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Is this Hinduism or like just yeah, like... Yeah, it is, it is, it is Hinduism. Mm. It is totally Hinduism. Totally so Hinduism. Appa okay. apparently yeah. he runs the Buji Institute and this is this comment is following on the heels of a video or an, um, all kinds of consternation about 68 um, hostelers, uh, girls who were going to the school, were forced to strip for a menstruous check. Menstruating females are barred from entering temple and the kitchen. Mm. So, yeah. And he is saying also, like, you know, men need to learn how to cook because if they don't cook for themselves, they'll be forced to eat rotis from the filthy hands of these menstruating women. So that was also another point that he was making, that before you get married, men, you need to learn how to cook. It sounds, it sounds a bit, you know... I don't know. It, it sounds. It's a good advice for all the wrong reasons. Yeah, learn how to. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that, that's exactly. Right. <laughs> exactly. Go, yeah. Do learn but how to... apologists will say, "Oh, they are just asking women to take a break during menstruation and mm -hmm. stuff." But the thing is, in Hinduism, like there are several stuff in Hinduism which says like menstruating women are impure and dirty and stuff, and it. It, it is a huge thing in Nepal and India. Like uh, there are some rural parts where menstruating women are sent out of their homes to live in a small hut outside their house where, uh, during their yeah, menstruation. Yeah. Right. They can, uh, we have covered some news stuff yeah, like I that. A, bu a whole bunch of Hindus are going to try to twist this as like pro woman. Like, are we telling them to take a break? Yeah. Man? Like, imagine this. Like, yeah, don't cook. Go take a break because you're a dirty filthy creature i we don't want your your impurity to this ah disgusting you're gonna be born as a female dog if you cook but this is just we're being nice to you we're just taking telling you to take a break yeah like you're very pro woman it's self-care <laughs> there, there are many there are many temples where menstruating women are not allowed inside and yeah this there's another thing though, like some Hindus who know that this is bullshit and uh, they are Hindus by the way, Hindus and also atheists and they are countering this by making memes like uh, in a meme uh, a goddess is walking away from her own temple and the priests, the pandits are like, hey goddess where are you going, why are you leaving and the goddess is like, oh I thought you don't allow menstruating women inside the temple. Right, right. <laughs> oh good. No, I saw some memes by some... Uh by some atheists from India, they were taking pictures of their dogs and they were like, oh, look at them, they're, they're clear, they clearly have been... Yeah, like, yeah, they're, 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 they're In their past like... life, these are, these are women that they, like, cooked uh, when they were menstruating in their past life. Look how disappointed they are, look at their sadness. But, <laughs> how, what do you say to people that this is not really Hinduism? How do you, how do you respond to that? I mean, this is Hinduism, they're like... Everything and uh, many things in Hinduism which is, say menstruating women are impure and dirty from yeah. temples and I mean I, I don't know how can people even deny this is Hinduism. Yeah. Hinduism is very by the way, if, 
Hinduism is anti-woman. Come at me, guys. Like, I'm gonna, the comment section is going to come. Like, Hinduism is extremely sexist against women. Extremely sexist. It is. It is. All the it people, is. All the people yeah. that say like, oh no, Hinduism is not a religion. It's a way of life. Okay, fine. Even if it's not a religion, if it's a way of life, it's a very crappy way of life. Okay. okay <laughs> but I don't care if what you want to call it. It's, it is a religion, by the way. But even if you don't want to call it a religion, just calling it a way of life doesn't mean it. How what? It yeah, is it is so a messed up way of so life. So it's Nazism. It's a way. It's not a religion. It's a way of life. Like what? So <laughs> that, is that your defense? Um, so I mean, uh, some some people with, will come at you with some uh, kind of pro women text from Hinduism, but uh, there are many contradictions to those texts because Hinduism like has like way too many contradictions because of the vast number of texts and all. Right. Uh, Bij is saying, "Will the man be cooking just for himself?" I guess that's. A, oh, maybe no. Are they going to be cooking for the wife as well, or just for themselves? I don't know. Um, those. Have I think they. Hmm. I was to say, I think they usually cook for themselves out in the tent because I guess if you're unclean, you can touch your own unclean stuff. Mm. It's other people that are affected by it. At least that's. You understand what I seem to so understand. The, to about the it. top comment by Zoe is saying sounds like a great excuse for us girls to put up, put our feet up for a week. If you ask me, no, guys, don't defend this in any way. Like, imagine if you said that about like a race um, or any any other group of people. Like, imagine if you're like, oh, like purple people shouldn't be working because they're they're impure and nothing can nothing good can come from their work and be you know like even, what are you gonna say like oh that's great so we don't we can just relax and you guys have to pay for it. no like don't don't try to spin this in any positive way this is disgusting this is sexist like yeah so ken is saying well that's obviously not true my mom never cooked but she was still uh <laughs> What, a, <laughs> what sorry, happened? I'm sorry, made me laugh. <laughs> I knew what he was going to say. Yeah, yeah. By, the, by the way, I wanted to reply to Rivka about that. Uh, Rivka, your you microphone say... cuts when you when the volume gets to a certain higher level, by the way. So oh, maybe... when I start cackling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe you should switch back yeah. to the other microphone. But go on, by the, way, by the way, Rivka was saying, like, uh, women are, uh, if women cook for others, it is supposed to be impure because if they eat their own stuff it's not impure i mean it's kind of like that because uh, in hinduism and in indian society women are like automatically they're assumed to have to cook for their husbands and other family members hmm. so Mar mary is saying damn it he could have he couldn't tell me this before menopause think of all the cooking i could have gotten out of all those <laughs> all right what else I wanted to make a comment about the person who said it oh, looks like a good excuse to put your feet up. It's actually really, it's women have died in these menstrual huts at night when it's freezing cold and they can't keep yeah. a fire going. I mean, it's happened before. A young girl. During storms. Pump. Yeah. I mean, so it's not that you're going to the spa mm. and getting a pedicure. No, you're going to this cold, dark hut. Outside you're basically, of your house. you're basically being banished from your house. Yeah, like a dog house. And you, you, and this only happens in Hindu areas, by the way, right? Like, don't tell me this is not Hinduism. Like, it's not just India. In other countries where Hinduism also exists, right? Nepal. Nepal, Nepal is a good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we see, like women dying outside in the cold, or like some of them got burned in the huts outside because of yeah the, the hut thing is more of a problem in nepal than india right but, but it is th this whole woman being disgusting but, yeah. and impure spiritually impure when they're when they are um menstruating this is definitely a hindu i mean other religions have this too but hinduism really really focuses on this more than other religions right so Again, every like just remember like people that defend Hinduism, uh, and they're like, oh, it's just a philosophical thing or way of life. Just let them know that they're full of they're full of you know what, right? Because I can't swear on this show apparently. Uh, tell them that you no, know, tell them that Hinduism is sexist, it's superstitious, it's um, it's anti you know science, anti common sense. 
um, anti-women. It's and it's also extremely, extremely bigoted. The caste system is definitely Hindu. Anybody that denies it is just defending something that they have an emotional attachment to. Um, all right, should we just news? Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has what's holding you back? Okay, if you haven't subscribed to our channel. Why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think it's no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button. But nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well and share, share our videos because you know, we do get demonetized. That's an obvious on every one of our videos. So F that, but we don't care about that anymore, <laughs> but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritize. What does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right and all that, you know, on the, on people's homepages. And that's how channels grow. Unfortunately we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos. 